Welcome to Europe, 9am on the island of Samos. Illegal migrants caught overnight are dropped off at a detention centre. The police didn't want us to look inside. The detainees are often not told how long they'll be here or how to apply for asylum. Iraqis, Palestinians, also Afghanis and Somalis. These photographs were taken inside. This is Greece's dirty little secret. Crowded, filthy, human rights groups want it closed immediately. It was a shocking experience for us to see 300 people living just in a few square meters, sharing a few beds and only two toilets. It was an extreme lack of hygiene and we are mostly worried about the minors that are living under these conditions. The government is building a new, much better migrant detention centre on Samos. It's taken a long time, but it should open within weeks. But the government worries, with so many uninvited guests, that this will not be enough. No country in Europe, of course not Greece, would be able to handle such a huge number of people trying to enter its territory illegally. No matter how many facilities you build, no matter how good these facilities are, uh, they cannot cope with thousands of people uh, uh, which, uh, who are trying to enter the country. From this spot, it's easy to understand why Samos is the most vulnerable of all the Greek islands to human trafficking. That land over there, just behind me, is Turkey. It's only about a kilometre or so across that stretch of water. And that makes this one of the most exposed entry points of the entire European Union. Down at the harbour the following day before dawn, a group of migrants who've served the maximum three months in the centre wait to board the Athens ferry. In their hands, deportation orders, but most will try and stay. Young men like Walid from Gaza, who gave a trafficker all his savings to bring him this far. I need uh, a work and I need uh, study. I need to help my family, help my brother. Walid and his friends, with a few euros in their pockets and only a handful of Greek words between them, travelling in hope, but they'll need all the luck they can get. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, on the island of Samos.